What's up, financers? ENL Finance here, coming at you with episode 15 of our Weeble Challenge, where our overall goal is to create a portfolio that's able to generate $1,000 in monthly dividend payments. In this week's update, we'll be showing our current portfolio spreadsheet, what plays are on our list for this upcoming week, how much we got paid for the month of January, and sharing our overall thoughts about this challenge. But before we begin today's video, please don't forget to smash that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, welcome to the channel where money makes money. To kick off this year's payment, we got paid $12.43. That's an increase of $1.39 compared to what we paid in December. For this upcoming week, we're going to watch closely for any pullbacks in CLM, PBA, and HRZN as we look to increase our shares of these high monthly paying dividends. We possibly may start building a position with AGNC with the cash that we've been building up from our monthly payments. This is because AGNC has been dipping over the last few weeks. Our overall thoughts about this challenge so far has been that it's difficult, but can also be fun, mainly because we want to invest more and grow this portfolio faster. But setting a strict budget and not exceeding it when the market has a week like this one is quite hard to just keep holding all your money until the next week with the progress we have made since starting this challenge we know that our goal can be reached we just have to be patient and continue the path that we set forth to help us maintain our path we created a spreadsheet in the spreadsheet we're tracking how many shares each stock has how much they pay, the overall performance of the stock compared to this time last year, and whether its value is going up or down. To better understand our spreadsheet, and so you can follow along, or as an example to create your own, let's break it down. Columns A to D, it consists of the stock ticker, company name, and number of shares we currently own. And columns E through H are live updates, which pulls the data from Google Finance. Column E allows us to know what the current or closing market price is of the stock. Column F is the price change from the previous trading day. Column G is how the stock performed in the last 365 days. And column H is the company's PE ratio. If you see a NA, it just means that the company reported negative earnings and doesn't have a PE ratio. Moving to tracking the payments from these companies, columns J, is the price per share column k and l consist of the dividend yield and the monthly return from the number of shares that we have columns m and n are 2021's months and what we are expecting to get paid each month column p shows the difference from what we are expecting and what we actually got according to our data january's payment should have been 12 dollars 95 we actually got paid 12 dollars 43 which looking back is tied to the amount of shares we had before their EX dividend date. And it also gives us the data we need to track if any companies didn't pay us for the month of January. With this information, we can then rebalance the portfolio by selling any of the companies that aren't paying a monthly dividend and move the funds elsewhere. If you'd like to start your own Weeble challenge, Weeble offers different promotions, such as giving new users free stocks. Check the link in the description below to sign up. If you'd like to chat with us, you can find us on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. Links below. Thanks for watching. And as always, if you find this information useful, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and set your alerts to receive more content like this one. See you guys on the next one. And remember to follow the three M's. Money makes money.